Gaza City, Gaza Strip app Israeli airstrikes killed at least six people across the Gaza Strip and destroyed the home of an extended family early Wednesday. Despite growing international pressure for a ceasefire, the military said it widened its strikes on militant targets in the Palestinian territories south to blunt continuing rocket fire from Hamas. Residents surveyed the piles of bricks, concrete and other debris that had once been the home of 40 members of al Astal family in the southern Gaza town of Khan Yunus. They said a warning missile struck the building five minutes before the airstrike, allowing everyone to escape. Ahmed al Astal, a university professor, described a scene of panic before the airstrike hit, with men, women and children racing out of the building. Some of the women didn't even have time to cover their hair with Muslim headscarves, he said. We had just gotten down to the street, breathless, when the devastating bombardment came, he said. They left nothing but destruction, the children's cries filling the street. Dot dot dot. This is happening, and there is no one to help us. We ask God to help us. The Israeli military said it struck militant targets around the towns of Khan Yunus and Rafah, with 52 aircraft hitting 40 underground targets. Gaza's health ministry said a woman was killed and eight people were wounded in those strikes. Hamas run Al Aqsa radio said one of its reporters was killed in an airstrike in Gaza City. Among the six killed Wednesday were also two people who died when warning missiles crashed into their apartment. The latest strikes came as diplomatic efforts aimed at a ceasefire gathered strength and Gaza's infrastructure, already weakened by a 14-year blockade, rapidly deteriorated. Medical supplies, water and fuel for electricity are running low in territory, on which Israel and Egypt imposed the blockade after the Islamic militant group Hamas seized power in 2007. The Biden administration was privately encouraging Israel to wind down its bombardment of Gaza. Egyptian negotiators also were working to halt the fighting, and while they have not made progress with Israel, they were optimistic international pressure would force it to the table. Officials discussed the sensitive diplomacy on condition of anonymity. But it was still unclear if or how soon those efforts would yield results. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel hopes to restore quiet, quickly, but did not exclude the possibility of further escalation.